There are some bad areas of Las Vegas that you want to stay out of. And I mean bad. Sketchiest place to stay in the Las Vegas It's generally not a place you want to be. It got damaged to the south end of the strip. This is a park Bang. where if you come Short down here, walk, you'll notice some of these several older areas buildings that are really crime, run down. Lots of police activity. And worse. And worse. You guys won't believe how much this place on the Las Vegas Strip has changed. It went from being a dump to having nothing but five-star reviews online. What was once a beat-up and run-down apartment complex is now the Nirvana Hotel. You will not find another room like this on the Las Vegas Strip. I was able to get this room here at the newly opened Nirvana Hotel for $169, no resort fee, free parking at this place. I got the deluxe queen room that comes with the queen size bed here, two towels on the bed, numerous pillows. They have these end tables here that were actually handmade by a local carpenter and they give you these because they also serve as your breakfast tables because you get breakfast in bed here in the morning time. Also in this small room, you do have your TV on the wall. You're gonna have an additional chair right here. This is an older building. It's been around I think since the 50s or 60s. So you do have your older, um, you know, heating and cooling unit. But this table right over here, when you come in, they've got this nice lamp here They got the menu for the food truck that they have on site that we're gonna go eat at in just a moment. It also comes with, I call them scented sticks. I think they're actually called reed diffusers. But when I came in this room, it had such a nice lemon scent. And these sticks are actually made by the couple who owns the place. The wife makes these herself for this room. Because this is a boutique family owned property, they have added such a nice touch to so many things here. Like, look at this. This is perfect for couples. They give you matching white robes, little eucalyptus leaf, which these are not real, but nonetheless, these are super cool. And when you step in this bathroom, this is the cleanest bathroom I have ever seen so far on the Las Vegas Strip. And also, it comes with Q-tips, they give you floss and picks for your teeth, the toilet is pristine, the shower is absolutely spotless inside this place, and, Every room here comes with its own floor mat at the front door. Much more homely feel. Check-in here is at 3 p.m., but every single day from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m., they have a happy hour at the food truck here on property where you get food and drink. We're gonna go to that right now, and right after that, I'm gonna show you an amenity they have here that you will absolutely not find in any of these major corporate properties on the Strip. They have happy hour here seven days a week and every single day they have a different menu item. And today it is beef kebab with hummus, with the fresh pita bread, with the roasted tomato, and you can get either red or white wine to go with it. So if you're coming here, especially as a couple or two people or even in a group, Everybody can get their own for free when you stay here. You guys know I'm a protein lover. Mm. Aside from the flavor where it's off on the inside, I like the outside. It's got a little bit of crunch to it. And the sauce gives it extra flavor. Grilled tomato, pita bread, the hummus. This pita bread is so warm and so soft. Mmm, this is awesome. <laughs> I've got more food coming that I ordered, but while we're waiting, you're about to see the unique amenity here that no hotel on the Vegas Strip has.
This Zen garden was put in by the new owners of this property. The husband, his brother, which is Chef Allen that runs the food truck, the two of them and two helpers built this entire Zen garden. The brothers built the three benches that you see by themselves. They have three benches, you have two picnic table areas, you have a seating area on the ground with seated cushions where you can actually have a unique meal setting. The details and the finer points that they put in this place, from the tables that go with the benches, to the cushions on the seats, to the trees they planted, with a light for each tree to light it up during the evening time, to the nice wooden walls all around it. They have a small dog relief area because this place is pet friendly. They did such a good job with the finer points to provide something unique that you won't get anywhere else in the Las Vegas Strip. I really want to point this out because this is such attention to detail at this place. This trash can right here could just be any ordinary trash can, but they put this plant right here on top of it. That just gives it such a nice little touch that you will not find in other places. Food's ready. So now I've got my chicken shawarma pita, which Chef Alan told me says authentically made directly from Israel. And I got fried yuca to go with it. Just today he starts serving it with yuca. It's $16. He was nice enough to try to cop it for me, but I said, no, 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 I'm gonna pay for this. But he did give me a 10% local discount. So full disclosure. But I'm gonna try and dive into this. Ooh, lots of chicken and lots of veggies. Mm -hmm. mm. I like it. I like the grilled chicken. You guys probably know I'm not a huge veggie guy, but the tomatoes and the cucumbers are a nice addition to it as well. And I don't know what this sauce is in here, <laughs> but this sauce is good. Now try the fried yuca, which I don't think I've ever had before in my life. I asked if it was similar to plantain. He said, kind of. So this is from Africa. Let's give it a shot. Yeah. It's pretty similar to what you would have here in a lot of places in the US. So where you're getting potatoes or fries or anything from a potato. It tastes very similar. Little different texture though. Texture is a little bit different. But if you've had French fries before, then this will taste similar to you. The seasoning, dang. It's salty, so there's, there's salt on it, but it's a little, um, what's the word? Maybe a little, a little zesty, a little tangy. It's got an extra little flavor to it besides just the salt. Final thoughts on the chicken shawarma pita. So $16 which some of you, you think, oh, it came from a food truck, $16, it sounds like a lot. But guys, here on the Las Vegas Strip, I have paid more money for food and gotten way less flavor and way less value. So the price I paid for the type of food, the flavor of it was delicious. I really did like the fried uh, yuca as well, but I just don't eat tons of carbs, so, you know, I usually don't finish all that. But for the price, for what you get, here at this hotel, it's a good value. Plus, remember, tomorrow morning, I'm getting breakfast in bed that came with my room reservation. One of the coolest things about this setting right here, especially with the Zen Garden, is they will allow you to buy out this entire hotel for an event. They just told me that coming up, they have a wedding taking place here for a family from California. They have bought out all 23 rooms in the hotel, and they're gonna have 25 after they expand to two more here. They're gonna have the wedding here in the garden, reception here, and they've got the whole place to themselves just for the wedding. These two rooms that they have right behind me are not open just yet because they're still getting ready. But once they do, these are going to be their suites. 
They have 25 total rooms on this property. And once this is ready to go, they're gonna have a bar inside of it. They're gonna knock out this wall that's connected to the main room. They're gonna have an in-room bar right here inside the suite. These are gonna be the two most expensive units they have once they're ready. They are currently expected to be available sometime in May of 2023. This used to be an open swimming pool area. Now, last summer, this was just an empty pool. But since the new ownership took over, they bought this, and because there were issues with like grandfather law and plumbing and stuff like that, they decided to fill it in with this rock, turn into a rock bed, put a water fountain in the middle that's off today because it's windy. But all this area over here, they're gonna add in cabanas, they're gonna add in more seating, they're gonna have covered areas for shade. People can buy this out if they want. You can bring food and drink out here as well. So they're gonna turn this into another lounge area for outdoor gatherings for people that stay here or if you ever wanna do it for a buyout. This place just opened in early March. And one thing they were nice enough to do here was show us this horse trailer that they have, because this is one thing that they use when they have special events here. They turn this into an outdoor bar. So when they have certain buyout events people do, or just certain events that they're having here on the property, they'll bring it over by the food truck. They'll have food, they'll have drink, they'll have entertainment, all sorts of stuff. But right now, this is one of the things they're planning to have on a regular basis in the future for their events on the property. This store in front of the property is also the same ownership as the couple who owns the hotel. So this store here has got a variety of everything you can want. They've got luggage in case you ever lose yours. They got some clothing items here. They have snacks, they got water, they have alcohol. They got self-defense tools. You can buy a knife, a pepper spray, a stun gun. They got cigarettes, they got condoms. They got just about whatever you can need for your trip here in Las Vegas. So especially if you lose something, you can come here and grab it as well. A lot of you who want to get away from gambling, this would be a great place to come and stay because it's very quiet. The whole property is non-smoking. But if you want that, the good news is you're literally right across the street from the Mandalay Bay and in a very short walking distance from numerous major casinos here on the Las Vegas Strip. Just a little farther south of us right here are two really cool attractions. The most famous one in Las Vegas is the Las Vegas sign. You can take your photo there for free and have a good memory forever. Also right here down to the south end, you have the Pinball Hall of Fame. That is a very budget friendly option. Where you can go for hours and have fun and it's not gonna burn a hole in your pocket. Also, if you come here for either a Las Vegas Raiders game or any event at Allegiant Stadium, it's a very short walk from this spot here at Nirvana Hotel. This tranquility room right here is going to be a spot in the future where you can get a massage. But for right now, in the morning time, when you stay here, this is where you get your free coffee. And in the morning, when they come and serve you breakfast in bed here, these are the baskets that they use to bring the food and the drink to you in the morning between 7 a.m. and 9 a.m. Hmm. It's like perfect for a picnic, I must say. I have to say that I am quite shocked that there is a hotel on the Las Vegas Strip that includes in the room price breakfast delivered to your room in the morning. <laughs> Look at this, they deliver it in this basket, they knock on your door, you tell them between 7 and 9 a.m. what time you want it delivered, they knock on your door, and here it is. It comes in this cool basket. I'm not quite sure what's in here, so we're gonna find out together. Hey. All right, so we have a couple croissants. We got toast with jam with butter. <laughs> Sunny D. Dude, I have not had Sunny D since I was in like fourth grade. That is awesome. Water bottle, knife and fork. We have cup of fruit. Wow, big old chocolate chip muffin, which, oof, man. Are these chocolate muffins? I used to eat too many of these when I was a kid. And, oh, scrambled eggs. That's what it looks like, scrambled eggs with cheese. There we go. Oh yeah. So scrambled eggs with cheese with bacon delivered to you, included in the room price with no resort fee and free parking. And that's it. That is the whole basket, but they deliver it to you. So time to dive in. <laughs> The eggs are nice and warm and fresh. This tastes much more like something you would eat at home. 
Mmm, who doesn't love bacon? <laughs> All gone. All right, let's try our fruit cup. Strawberry first. Which is so nice to have something delivered that you can tell was prepared just for you. Like they prepared it right before they delivered it to you. You can say it's not mass produced. It's great. A good job of toasting it, but it's also still soft. I enjoyed this breakfast here in the morning. It's a great addition to have on your stay that is included with the room price. I am gonna pass on the chocolate muffin and the Sunny D because I don't do lots of carbs, and lots of sugar. So um, I will, you know, find someone, um, you know, in the area who's homeless and I usually give food. I'm not one to really give cash, but I will give extra food if I have it. So I'm gonna take these with me and I will give these away. But just the fact that they do this breakfast here is amazing. <laughs> it really is. It's such a great touch. Okay, so let's talk cons, pros, and employee shout outs of staying here at the uh, Nirvana Hotel. So uh, the only real con about this place, and you know, this is kind of always a pro or con depending on what you like as far as location. So you're here way at the south end of the strip. You're literally across the street from Mandalay Bay though. Um, so if you want to feel like more towards the center, you want to be a bit closer to the action, then you know you may want to do that. But the Deuce bus stop is like right outside the property right here. You can grab an Uber or Lyft real easily from here. It's not that congested like, you know, at the major hotels to grab one of those. And it's short enough or close enough distance. You can walk to plenty of properties. It's not a long walk by any means to get to several of the major properties here. Also, this place, you guys remember, um, this was one of the places here at the south end of the Strip that I had in my video about like the worst areas uh, near the Las Vegas Strip. That's one thing too, where this area, some of those like abandoned buildings and stuff are still here in this area. But one thing that was cool was I did talk to the staff here and they told me some of their like short-term and long-term plans for this area. They're not finalized and they asked me you know, not to like go into detail about it, but I will say this, uh, if they're able to continue with those plans for their short term and their longer term the vision they have for this area and this you know these several plots of land right here at the south end of the strip it's going to drastically improve in the future so hopefully that continues to happen um here at this place so if you guys want to come stay you can probably help them expedite those plans so now getting into the pros of the place um there's a lot okay just the fact that they've carved out a unique niche for themselves here on the Las Vegas Strip. They've, you can tell they've made a pretty conscious effort to be the opposite of what has happened with all these big corporations that now uh, operate you know, these strip hotels and properties. So this is like the truest mom and pop hotel kind of feel that you're gonna get here on Las Vegas Boulevard from, you know, like I said, this main part here for, of uh, what most people call the Strip. This is where you're gonna get it. I mean, so many of just the little things and finer points that they do here. Like I said, putting you know the flowers they have outside, the decor, um, you know, the um, I call them scented sticks. When you come into the room, that you know the wife of the couple who owns the place makes. I mean, dude, look at these towels. Look at you go to most hotels and they have you know the towels folded and stacked up, and that's perfectly fine. It does the trick. But look at these towels. Look how nicely like rolled up these are <laughs> this is like such a unique touch that you're not going to find this uh or you're gonna have a hard time finding this in just you know your entry level room over on the strip maybe it's some higher end room but for something like this tough to find no resort fee at this place the price you see on the website is the price that it is now that you can't get around the 13.3 percent room tax um, you know, they can't do anything about that. So 169, I got the room out the door after the room tax. It was, you know, like 191 or something like that. Parking is included. Parking is free on this property for uh, hotel guests. They maximize every single square inch of this land that they have to get the most value out of it. They've only got 25 rooms here, so they fill up quick. But the fact that they have given such a nice touch, the Zen Garden they have, again, all the details for that, the food truck they have here on site, free food and drink during happy hour, free breakfast that comes in the morning. The value you get here is so much more than you're gonna be able to get at a lot of other places. That's one of the biggest pros about staying here at this place. So 
plenty of good things about it. Now let's also jump in to the employee shout outs. And there's not that many of them here. There's not that many employees. This is a small mom and pop operation. So um, the concierge was Osvaldo. So there's just one small office and there's one desk and one employee that you check in with here. Uh, Chef Allen ran the food truck, was awesome. Um, I did not get to meet the couple who owns the hotel and the actual property themselves. Uh, and there's only one housekeeper here, that's it. Small business family oriented operation. This is gonna have much more of your family feel to it and much more said personal touch than probably any other place you're gonna stay on Las Vegas Boulevard. That is huge, that is great. That's the thing I love about this the most is that these people came here, saw an opportunity with this place that was, you know, beforehand it was in bad condition, it was in real need of repair. They saw an opportunity, they jumped at it, they took a risk, they put a whole bunch of their own money into it, they've renovated it, and now they've carved out for themselves a unique niche and a business opportunity and they have plans to help improve this whole area. That's what I love the most, without a doubt about this whole thing. And that was why I wanted to come and stay here and share this video with you guys. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being so awesome. I appreciate you guys checking this out. If you wanna come down to Nirvana Hotel, it's a unique experience. That's all I'm gonna say. See you guys in the next video. That's the last thing I'm gonna say. <clears throat> it is. Mm-hmm.